Copenhagen is home to Denmark's most photographed citizen, the Little Mermaid. The bronze statue has been a major tourist attraction since its unveiling in the year 1913 and both winter or summer alike. This is a major photo point and it remains bustling with tourists no matter what time of the year you are here. Traveling in Copenhagen is quite expensive and not very budget friendly, but being a compact capital city, most of Copenhagen's attractions are easily reachable on foot. One of the most relaxing walks I did here was the one along the waterfront, and this terminates into the Langelinie Promenade. The Lil Mermaid sculpture is displayed on a rock by the waterside here. The area is actually quite a popular destination for excursions and strolls in Copenhagen and most of the arriving cruise ships both here as well. The Lil Mermaid is actually a bronze statue by Edward Eriksson, depicting a mermaid becoming human and named after the famous fairy tale by the Danish author Hans Christian Andersen. Obviously, I do understand that this is a popular location and hence would be crowded, but listen to my experience when I was here. While in Copenhagen, one of the hot spots with the tourists is the Little Mermaid, which is in the background there, oh, along with some other tourists. I've been here for almost 20 minutes now, and it's incredible because, no, I mean, the location is incredible, yes, no doubt, but you'll see a bunch of tourists. I guess they're part of some group, most likely it's some kind of walking tour or probably one of these guided tours and what is incredible is because I've been here 20 minutes waiting to be at that location somewhere there so I can get a close-up view a photograph with the little mermaid but it's absolutely not possible it's it's unbelievable how a group of tourists can just you know like reach a spot hijack it and then not move at all without any duricals to other people who are also waiting you know these people are also waiting here it's incredible that they just don't move and anyways so finally i decided to do this from a distance and hopefully in the next few minutes if there's a opening i'd go there and click a photo because it's, it's just not possible also it says do not climb on the monument but i also saw some people trying to do that now unbelievable but true All right, so the wait doesn't seem to get over. That group in the distance is still there. And there has now come a new group because every 15 minutes, the sightseeing bus makes a round here. So I guess I should just stop waiting and then jump in there right there. Jump in right with the rest of the people and hopefully get a shot of this. Canal boat tours also pass by here, so if you like, you can even spot the mermaid while cruising along the river. Remember to say hello. If you're looking for a more comprehensive, a more in-depth video about sightseeing in Copenhagen, or even visiting the famous Christiania part of town, you can check out one of these videos on screen. As always, thanks for watching, keep exploring. This is Rahul for Roma Realm and I'll see you in the next one.